meteorologist Thomas Geboy with your first alert storm team forecast. Good morning, everyone. Our radar this morning starting off nice and quiet, but tomorrow that will not be the case. So let's go ahead and get, to, get into the nuts and bolts of this forecast. Across the entire southeast, there's really not much going on. Don't expect that to change as we go through today. We are watching our next storm system, and lo and behold, it's out in New Mexico and West Texas, and it really might not be able to see it from the radar perspective, but when you look at the water vapor, what's going on in the mid-levels of the atmosphere, you can see where our mid-level clouds are coming from today. Plenty of moisture streaming in from our southwest, but you can see this swirl over towards New Mexico and Texas. This will be sliding this way, and that's what's going to be increasing our chance for thunderstorms and also for severe weather. As for today, the risk of severe weather well to our west, you can see an enhanced risk in parts of Texas and also Oklahoma and also parts of Kansas. Meanwhile, as we go into tomorrow, that enhanced risk moves towards the News 5 neighborhood, and most of the News 5 area is included in that enhanced risk. That is level 3 out of 5, meaning within this enhanced risk, Severe weather is likely to occur. Not everyone will get a severe thunderstorm, but that potential is out there. Even if for those of you in Okaloosa County within the slight risk, we're going to treat it as if you are in the enhanced risk. Let's go ahead and go through the timing. Start the forecast model at 615 this evening. You don't have to worry about any rain through today. Through today. Winds will be out of the south. You'll feel that extra humidity through the day as well. This evening, no worries about rain, but as we start your Thursday morning commute, maybe a few spotty showers around, maybe a few pockets of some patchy fog. Throughout the first half of the day, really nothing to worry about. Mostly cloudy skies. Winds continue out of the south. That humidity continues to increase, but that storm system will be on the way. 6:15 tomorrow evening. That's likely when we'll start to see those thunderstorms moving in from our west. And from around 6 o'clock in the evening to around 1030, those thunderstorms likely moving through our western counties towards the I-65 corridor. Some of these thunderstorms might be strong and some of them could be severe. We'll keep the chance for thunderstorms as we go throughout the early half of the overnight moving east of I-65. Anywhere from, I would say, 1 o'clock in the morning to 2 o'clock in the morning on Friday before all those thunderstorms finally begin to move away as we approach daybreak on your Friday and then through Friday, we're just left with a few lingering showers and much better weather for the upcoming Easter weekend. So just your forecast headlines for tomorrow. The main window looks to be 6 p.m through 6 a.m. This is still subject to change, so make sure that you continue to keep up with the forecast. We have a level three risk, which it means, again, severe weather is likely to occur within the risk, not guaranteeing everyone will get severe weather, but that chance is out there. The main concern would be thunderstorms capable of damaging winds, but we also can't rule out a few tornadoes as well. In terms of rainfall totals, we're looking at anywhere from one to three inches of rain, which means not, not looking at a flash flooding threat, but nuisance flooding. That is a possibility. The takeaways at this point right now, go over your safety plan. Nothing to be worried about at the moment, but always be better to be safe than sorry and have that plan in place just in case. Identify how you'd get warnings and most importantly, just keep up with the forecast. You can do so with the News 5 free weather app, but we'll keep you covered on air, online, through social media. Now, in the meantime, the Alpha Insurance Sky Cam, we're looking pretty good today. 0% chance you're going to need your Green and Phillips umbrella. High temperature wise or temperature wise, we're currently sitting near 70 degrees in most spots. And by later on this afternoon, most of us will be hanging out near 80 degrees, a very seasonable spring day for today. Get outside and enjoy it if you can, because it is going to be a nice day. Again, high temperatures close to 80. We will see increasing clouds through the day. We'll get a few more low level clouds throughout the course of the day as well. Tomorrow, throughout the first half of the day, we start quiet, maybe a few showers here or there. But by tomorrow evening through the overnight, we get thunderstorms and that potential for severe weather is out there. On Friday, that 30% chance of rain mainly early on in the day. But as we move into this Easter weekend, we get low humidity and very comfortable temperatures.